Welcome to World War II Chronicles, a weekly tribute to America's fighting men and women in commemoration of the Second World War. These programs are narrated by Ed Herlihy and are based on the news broadcasts of the war period from the recorded sound collection of the National Archives in Washington, D.C. Liberators and Flying Fortresses of the United States Army 8th Air Force this afternoon raided Wilhelmshaven, the German naval base, for the third time. On May 17, 1943, the crew of a B-17 named the Memphis Bell flew a mission over German-occupied Europe. The crew members had begun their operations nearly six months earlier, and with the raid on Wilhelmshaven, they became the first American crew to complete the required 25 missions. The wheels of the Memphis Bell come back to the soil of England for the 25th time. Their days in Britain were the focus of a 1944 documentary. The crew's May raid against Wilhelmshaven was the featured event. On a frosty English morning, an 8th Air Force crew trots to its plane, its engines turning over. The famous Memphis Bell. A mighty armada of flying fortresses is taking off in a major daylight raid against northern Germany. They're going to strike at the heart of the enemy, Wilhelmshaven, a big naval base just west of the Danish peninsula. After completing its tour of duty, the crew flew the plane back to the United States to participate in a morale-building tour on behalf of the war bonds effort. General Aker read the order for what he called their 26th and most important mission. Return to America to train new crews and to tell the people what we're doing here. To thank them for their help and support and tell them to keep it up so we can keep it up. So we can bomb the enemy until he has had enough. And then we can all come home. You at home will soon be taking a look at a flying fortress that is going home with its crew after 28 missions over Europe. Take a good look at the young, old faces of its crew. If you look long enough and deep enough, you will find a new appreciation of what the young men of America are doing for and giving to the cause of human freedom. I'm Ed Hurley. Join me next time for World War II Chronicles. World War II Chronicles was produced by the American Veterans Center and Radio America, in cooperation with the National Archives. To listen to more episodes, subscribe on iTunes or visit AmericanVeteransCenter.org. We need your help to keep the legacy of our World War II generation alive. Visit AmericanVeteransCenter.org to make a donation to support World War II Chronicles and the ongoing work of the American Veterans Center.